hello there again. You may have been seeing lately a lot of memes and perhaps posts that have knocked off an old British poster that was produced before World War II that said, keep calm and carry on. Now I've seen all kinds of versions of that from the COVID virus, such as keep calm and wash your hands to the lighthearted keep calm and eat chocolate. Now, originally, these posters were produced and meant to keep the British citizens' morale up in spite of the pressing challenges and eventually the bombings that they would face during the Blitz. Now, while many of these posters were produced, it seems like not very many of them were actually hung up, and, and only recently copies were discovered, and, and they've really taken on a new life of their own. And today, it seems like the motto of keep home and carry on could be used in our present crisis. That in spite of all the challenges that we're facing, we're encouraged to, to still keep on living our lives as best we can from our homes, either working from home or, or encouragement to support local businesses or, or to have takeout Tuesdays for dinners or to check up on our neighbors and friends, all while, again, keeping that six feet apart and now wearing masks when we venture out into public. And as I've mentioned to many of you, I'm not exactly sure how long this will all last. I'm not sure how long we'll have to keep going without having public worship services or, or when we do what changes we'll have to make in order to keep everyone safe as we can. But what I do know is this, that we don't need a slick marketing campaign or posters or memes or posts on Facebook or the constant public service announcements to keep calm and, and carry on. Because as Christians, that already defines that new life that we have found in Christ. That we can keep calm. And more than just keeping our wits about us, but finding true peace and calm in his amazing promises to get us through. To keep ourselves out of harm's way is more than just hunkering down in our homes, but really keeping ourselves away from the sinful temptations that the devil and this world throw at us to carry on showing love, mercy, and forgiveness to those around us, just as Jesus showed to us. We can keep calm and carry on because we know that Jesus ultimately carried all of our burdens, our sins, and our guilt on his shoulders as he hung there on the cross. To know that while others carried Jesus' lifeless body to the tomb, Jesus himself would walk out of that tomb on his own. And that's what gives us peace and calm. That's what enables us to carry on no matter if a, a virus closes our nation and economy, if a war would break out, if, if people would turn against the truth, or when we have our own tragedies in life. We can keep ourselves calm in the loving arms of Jesus as he carries us through this life and, and one day carries us home to heaven. So friends, keep calm. Carry on. We will get through this together with Jesus. We read today from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And so take these words to heart, my friends. Your Lord and your Savior is with you, and he will never leave us or forsake us. And so let us pray. Dearest Lord, we come before you today with doubts, fears, and worries. We ask that you would calm our troubled hearts and remind us that you have carried our sins to the cross and dealt with them there. Carry us through these strange days and bring us at last to your eternal kingdom. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And so see you soon, and may God bless as you keep calm and carry on.